What's up, guys? It's Eric. I'm in the studio. Um, I ended up losing my uh, pre-run footage, so I just decided to go ahead and you know throw a little intro in the studio. Uh, uh, this is my uh, Creighton, my V4 Creighton that I threw a, a Mojave chassis on. Uh, it's you know the Mojave uh, chassis and the center drive shafts and stuff. Uh, this thing is a complete animal. Uh, you know, it's more of a stretch Creighton, uh, like a Creighton XL. Uh, you know, uh, first off, big shout out to uh, Thomas P from TP Parts RC Extreme. I know he created something uh, very similar. You know, it is a uh, is a Creighton XL. Um, I'm last year, and that thing was a complete animal, and just and love watching the videos of it. And uh, and also uh, Chris Anthony from uh, Commander Astig RC. I know he, uh, he he created something using uh you know Creighton and Mojave parts. And it, uh, and it really creates an awesome truck. Uh, you know, again, this thing has the M2C, the M2C uh, Mojave chassis. Uh, this truck's a little bit dirty, like I said, it's after the run, but um, I was able to fit the uh, the uh, Proline Brute body on here. That's for the eight scale Creighton. I just had to kind of center it up a little bit, you know, so it didn't leave too much of a gap in the back, but yet it still clears the front shocks. So there's no, there's no binding right now there. On the electronics right here, I'm running the uh, stock electronics uh, from the eight, from the eight S Creighton. Um, you know, I, I figured this would be a good home for it to kind of try it out. Um, I'm running it on 6S. Uh, I've got a 30 tooth pinion in here right now. I did try a 26 tooth. So in the video, there's a mixture of, of 26 and 30 tooth. Uh, with the 26, I just couldn't get, you know, the, the, that uh, ballistic speed I was looking for. So the 30 tooth, uh, you know, definitely picked it up a little bit. But I'm, you know, probably not going to keep this motor in here. Um, I couldn't keep the, I couldn't put the heat sink and fan on here that, that comes stock with it because of the wiring situation and the way this, the way the setup is in the truck. So I may, I do have this uh, TP Power that's just been sitting in here forever. It's a 2000 KV, a 42, uh, a, a 4092 size can. And, uh, you know, I think that might be a good match for it. It'll plug right up to this ESC and, uh, you know, hopefully run a little bit cooler. I won't have to, you know, over gear it. Um, I got a million weight in the center diff. And again, it's got, it's got the M2C towers and chassis braces and all that. And I'll put a link to that in the description. Uh, but like sitting next to, um, the uh, big brother and sister here. <laughs> it's kind of the you know the middle child. It's about an inch and a half longer you know than a, than an eight scale Creighton, you know, and it's still you know dwarfed by the uh, King Creighton right here. But but it definitely uh, makes a middle child out of it, and uh, you know she's very stable and, it's, and just runs like she's on rails. And I was uh, you know very pleased with it. So all right, guys, enjoy the video. <laughs> well, if we were playing disc golf, I'd say we uh, got a hole in one. <laughs> Man. Yep, she flipped over. Oh, over the edge. <laughs> That's a pretty big jump. Yeah, guys, I gotta watch out for that uh, that uh, big retaining wall right there. I'd hate to land right on it. That'd be brutal. Yeah. 
Yeah, guys, this thing's pretty, pretty stable. <laughs> close. <laughs> Incoming. coming. <laughs> Uh-oh, oh. <laughs> that was close. That was a little bit of a ramp shaver. Woo. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, ejected the body. All right, guys, that's gonna be it for now. Um, I did uh, a shear off that body mount on that last landing. Uh, but anyway, I'm um, probably getting ready to hit the LVC too, and definitely don't don't want to do that in midair. But um, yeah, this this thing is a complete blast. Uh, you know, definitely a fun platform with the uh, longer chassis. Um, again, it does have an M2C Mojave chassis on it. That's the you know the only way I was able to do this, and uh, it, it just created a complete animal. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep the Spectre motor in it because I had to you know gear it up quite tall. Like I said, I had to put a 30 tooth pinion in it in order to get this thing moving and um and it is kind of creating some heat the esc is not that bad um but the but the motor is getting really hot so um i do have a tp power motor in my garage a 4092 size that'll plug right into that esc that i may end up using instead so i can uh you know don't have to run such a big gear but um anyway it was a blast glad we we're able to get out again and uh see you guys next time rc dude 81 peace out